guys so I don't know if my headband looks crooked or not hope it doesn't but it's just a forever 21 headband so if it does look crooked it's probably why not bashing forever 21 because I shop there all the time but some other stuff be uh, kind of cheap they have like really cute stuff and like their quality is a little bit better but sometimes you still get like weird things like this crooked headband but Anyway, I'm going to do a really spontaneous video today, and it's going to be on this beauty right here. And ignore my ratchet nails, how half of them aren't on. Um, kind of too lazy to get my nails done, but I am planning to do that before EDC and before my graduation. So, I won't have ratchet nails for too long. I want to do this video because I got this wash. This is the Michael Kors Clear Bradshaw and it's stunning um i freaking love this i wanted this since the day i saw it and i postponed buying it for like two weeks because of the price 275 full retail that's with no sales and before tax so with tax that would probably be around 290 um close to 300 actually if you were to buy this at full retail but I went to Macy's. First I went to Michael Kors and then I went to Macy's but I found this at Macy's for the same price but since I have a Macy's card I was able to get a discount, the friends and family discount so I ended up paying $2.42 with this plus I had a few plenty points that I threw on there so that also gave me more of a discount as well but there was no way I was paying $300 for this plastic acrylic or what do they call it acetate acetate watch anyway i i'm in love with this i love clear watches i first got into them when i saw the mark jacobs clear watch if you guys know what i'm talking about it's just clear and it says mark jacobs around the face of the watch but the michael kors came out with a clear watch and since i'm a michael kors collector i had to pick this one up so this is what it looks like and i'll put it on for you guys is what kind of review would this be if I did not so I got the size to my wrist obviously but I had to take out five and if I want to wear it like more up here they would have to take out six because I said in my previous videos I have very small wrists so they took out five links and it sits pretty comfortably down here I can layer this with a lot of bracelets and whatever other stuff I want to wear and it will look amaze but oh my god I'm in love they have this one which is rose gold and they also have a gold clear Bradshaw but Macy's only had the rose gold and Michael Kors had both but honestly I think that with this the rose gold looks better anyway so with the friends and family it came out to 250 and then I had more plenty points which is like the point system that you get when you go to Macy's you can open up a card and you have to you don't have to pay anything all you do is um get a points card and then every time you shop at Macy's AT&T um, I think mobile and Exxon you get points one time I actually filled up my whole gas tank for free because I had a lot of points so that was awesome this is what the watch looks like I'm not sponsoring plenty or I mean they're not sponsoring me but if they are if they watch this and they want to go right ahead so that's what the watch looks like. I freaking love this. I'm gonna pull a uh, Leonardo DiCaprio because he never wa wears his watches. He just kind of holds them like this. So, but yeah, I freaking love this. I mean, come on. It's so stunning. And it says Michael Kors on the back. And the back of the face looks like this. So it's a little bit clear as well. And. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I know it looks very small, but this is how it had to be fit. Oh my god, don't look at my ratchet nails. Anyway, <laughs> so that's what it looks like. Gorgeous. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I still have the plastic on top of the face of the watch. And I have that on another Michael Kors watch that I own. I want to keep the plastic on the faces for as long as possible because I don't want my face of wa my watch face to get scratched. So I'm leaving that on. You can barely tell though. There's only a few bubbles on the edges, but you can barely tell. And yeah, I'm not going to peel it off until it just decides to randomly fall off on its own. And I actually still have the, the um, plastic 
stuff inside too. So I mean, it's a little bit uncomfortable, but I don't know. It's I guess it's worth it. This is basically just a rose gold face and it doesn't have any rhinestones. I never get watches with rhinestones. I might in the future, but I just don't want to worry about the rhinestones falling off and it's stressing me out that I have to go back to the store and like get it replaced or whatever. The lady told me that people don't really complain about it, but still like I just don't want to have that worry. I'd rather just get a watch like this where I don't have to worry about rhinestones falling off. So it's just a really simple face and it has no rhinestones or anything. It's just gorgeous and shiny and rose gold. So this is definitely my new favorite watch. I got this yesterday and I wore it yesterday out of the store and I'm gonna wear it today as well. Um, I wouldn't wear this to a rave obviously because it's acrylic so I just I don't know I just don't think it's the sturdiest watch but I feel like if you want to maybe get a backup I don't know I've never done that before actually like getting a backup for a watch it just that's kind of weird because like nice to have just one watch but I love this so much like I do want to wear it every day and it's like perfect for summer because it will go with so many things and it's clear so that yeah, it goes with a lot of stuff but I just wouldn't wear this to a rave. For raves, last year I wore my swatch, which was also plastic, and that was fine because swatch is kind of more of a casual watch, so that's like what you would wear to something like that. But yeah, I love this, and it goes with so much jewelry that I wear. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. That's all I have to say about this watch. I'm obsessed with it, and I got mine at Macy's. So yeah, if you want this watch, you better act fast because I am pretty sure this watch is going to sell out really soon. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!